Well, a fantastic result for Khasis, really cementing themselves now as a powerhouse in schoolboy rugby here in South Africa. Let's now check out another clash in Pretoria that happened over the past weekend when Vartekloof took on Help Makar. It's a great day for rugby. Warm day on the high felt, and I'm joined by Jandre Lindeke, who's with me today and will be helping me to run through the proceedings. Jandre, pleasure to have you here. Thanks, Anton. Yeah, really looking forward to it. Well, Vodaklub choosing to run it. It's a great run there, but a forward play. Bashed up, great cleaning out, but penalty for, looked like diving over. Well, I mean, it's right in front of the poles. Wouldn't be surprised if we see Help McCarr going for the three points here. So it's a sort of a great way to start for them. The quiet descends upon the Vardacliff Stadium. Could be shock at seeing a prop kicking. <laughs> and he puts it through. Well, Jonro, when last did you see a forward, let alone a prop, uh, getting points? Not for a while, reminiscent somewhat of John Eels, who used to take the kicks for Australia. John Eels, of course, being the captain. Quick thrown by Van der Merwe, but it goes over the top of the fingers of Helpmakar and uh, Vardekloof now with the ball pushing forward, counter-attacking quickly. P Peterson sends it out. It's in the hands of Milan. Oh, and that is a brilliant try there. Is it? That is a try. Well, it looked like Gunter, the number 13. Well, a brilliant break, it must, said, must be said, by Milan. And then Gunter with a lovely dummy step to cross over and give the five points to Vardekloof. Okay. Quick turn of a ball there. And uh, Vardekloof boys moving it through the hands very nicely. Um, and they didn't kill each other's space by running to the sideline. They, they kept in their channel. They kept stepped out of the, uh, outside their man and then uh, went straight at it. Beautiful try by Vardekloof. Always nice to see running rugby. Let's see what Tinus de Beer does here. Over it goes. Fantastic kick by Tinus de Beer. Well, what a brilliant kick there by de Beer, taking Vardekloof to a 7-3 lead. Now out to de Beer. He clears, but in, in field, into the hands of Hartman. Goes on a strong run, but well tackled there by Vardekloof. Minar foraging for the ball, but it's a penalty to help McCarr. The last forward that I can remember was uh, John Eels. Yeah. And he was a lock. Oh. oh. Sails it through. The G-Man. G-Man <laughs> makes it look easy. And I have to say, help McCarr. Great turnout from the school. Pack the stand. Well, it must be said, Help McCarr looking dangerous, They're keeping their composure. While well, the ball sent in, regained by Help McCarr, and a little ruck is set up on the line. Strong drive forward. And try to Help McCarr. Can't quite see who the try It's a big man. Is it? I think it's G-Man, the big guy. <laughs> Giard Fasahi scores the try. Oof. May have been a turnover, and it is indeed a turnover. Help McCarr now with the ball. A lot of space at the back. Simon there with a nice little step. Oh, he's tackled, though, by a swarm of Vodakov players. Runs onto that somewhat hard-looking cricket pitch. I can tell you midwinter is quite dry and hard out there. Ball goes out there to Quacha, sends it to a big forward outside them. It's a big man, Frank Francis. But, oh, accidental offsides. And that's, well, that's half time. That's half time. Help McCarr, I'm sure, will be very happy with that lead that they've got. 18 points up in the first half. Last year had we played in the net and net with two points. So this year had we decided to go to the Ja, wat, uh, help elkaar is een baie kleiner school as wat Waterkloof is. En het lijkt niet voor mij of jullie mannen terugstaan, 1 centimeter terugstaan voor de Waterkloof mannen nie. Nee, um, ons klein schoolkie, ons het hier jaar ook met die atletiek goed gedoen in Waterkloof, hulle gewend. So, um, die passie in die hart is daar en ek dink dit is wat die verskil is tussen ons en ander skole. Ja. Waterkloof still with the ball piling in, but... 
just get it goes to Mikau. Oh, it's a good run through him, by the way. And the offload. Oh, it's a good... And now to De Beer. Great offload by him. Sends it to the lock who sends it wide to the wing. Lindeke. Lindeke, the captain, steps inside. Just what Vardaklub need. Five points beneath the poles. Now the first time that Vardaklub was able to breach the first line of defense from Alpmakar. And then things came together and they were able to, uh, to score a nice try. Um, they'll have to capitalize on each opportunity that they get uh, when they break the line because the Altmacar boys' defense looks quite uh, rock solid so far. Well, very exciting rugby being played there, must be said. Vasaki throws it in and oh, throwing's not really been that good. It's in the hands of a Vardaku player and it looks like, looks like it was Sneeman, the vice captain number eight, who scores. Well, he'll be very happy with that. Help me, Karsel, moet plannen voor hem om om dit te komen. Alleen het vele Magic Man, de G-Man, tot nu om een goeie te doen met de lijn staan, zoals je zei. Um, maar dat zal iedere eerste fase, de eerste fase van zitten, alle van alle onderbeheer moet krijgen. Anders gaan alle gaan alle niet moeilijk uit weer vandaag. Well, I have to say, it has been a remarkable comeback by Vardaklif, and uh, I was a bit worried early in the first half that this is actually going to be a one-sided affair to to help McCart. I think it bears testament to the, uh, the coaching staff as well as actually the maturity of the team that they could keep their heads and come back so emphatically. It's now 33-18, not much left in the game. Well, help McCart feed the scrum, sends it out to Quacha. He lets loose on ice wide. Great pass to Simon. Well, it's found brilliantly found space. And now it's Hendricks. Should let it go. Sorry, excuse me. Now Hendricks was the one who was supposed to be the recipient of that pass, I believe. But just didn't. Unfortunately, that last pass didn't work out, and it could have been a try. I think the Alpha Car understand the track of the out of the cup out. Bible of the bewegen on the right side of the field are geweest. Uh, net eenvoudige basis aan de Ange en uh, dit was definitief drie veld mekaar. That was a glorious pass from De Beer when he found uh, Simon just beautiful cutting the line but now De Beer kicks it out doesn't look too stoked with the kick and that is the match. Game in 33-18 to Vardekloof. It's been a wonderful game. Great comeback by the Vardekloof team after trailing quite considerably in the first half. And I'm sure you see the players congratulate each other. Will be very happy from the Vardaklov side. Will be very happy. But I think help. He certainly can take a lot from this match. Ja, wel. Denk het nogal tijd gegaan in de eerste helft. Maar wat is veel gezien en hij en hij kleert kamer dat die allemaal is zo uitgekomen in de tweede helft. Dat was maar een paar harde woorden geweest. Kijk, het is nog van zijn een beetje wakker te schrik, maar basis maar niet om te hebben in het gameplan. Mijn kort te vertrouwen in. Daar bij die basis is goed te zijn. Dat heeft te gewerkt op jou. Kijk, over het algemene, over het algemene spel was het een verlies geweest, maar bij zij scrams en zij een goede bij de lijn staan. Was het niet, uh, ons lijn stond net ook gelijk niet gewerkt vandaag. Dus, uh, ons moest maar kies gemaakt het en ons kijkje de kies gemaakt om hem af te halen. Laat ons kijken of ons lijn stond kan recht komen. A fantastic performance there by Help McCall. Really good looking side this year, but in the end, Vartekloof looking to be a bit too strong. Don't go anywhere because after the break, we take a closer look at the Ajax Cape Town Academy 